guess, uh, hi, and, uh, this is Ion's Kerning PQ Tutorial. Uh, in this video, I will be demonstrating how to complete the Kerning PQ, for it has changed a lot, and, uh, a lot of people simply just don't know how to do it. So, uh, one thing you should be able to do if you are going to PQ is introduce yourself, which is what these two people are doing. Alright, those people with the bandanas, they just traded, and... You know, their color fits now, you know, they match, so they needed to do that. Alright, secondly, you, uh, this PQ is for three to four people, which means this party of five is a fail. Yeah, I, I did not know this. Well, actually I did, but I kind of forgot. But anyway, it is a three to four. You no longer need four, you can start with just three. So, uh, anyway, that, uh, that's all this, uh, little part is explaining all right anyway so you talk to this you know this lady up here you click her and the first link is gonna start the PQ we're gonna skip the second one and go to the third one now this basically tells you everything you really need to know about this party quest everything from level requirement to how many players you need to participate uh, it tells you the prizes which the first prize can be found by the slime boss and the second uh, can be received after you defeat the slime boss 15 times uh, Actually, you need to collect 15 drops from the slime boss, but it's the same, same thing. The fourth one is where you go to exchange your drops from the Slime King to get your pair of shoes. So once you get your drops, you just talk to her there. Alright, so uh, when you want to start, you click that. You gotta have at least three people, and you can have up to four. Um, this is the first stage, and you have to go all the way to the right side. Uh, you know, you gotta just walk over here and you gotta talk to Clodo. Now, if you're leading the guild, you don't really have to do anything for this stage. Everyone else who isn't leading has to talk to her and she will tell them how many tickets to collect. And then you have to go and attack the alligator things and basically collect your tickets. Each one drops one, usually. So, uh, guild leader basically just, you know, is lazy person who does nothing or you can assist them by trying to find some tickets and uh, there goes my lag all right so uh, you know you kill a couple they drop tickets in the old days they uh, gave you some sort of simple math question or something or like how many stats did you need to start a warrior which was like 35 and you literally had to find 35 tickets and now it's way easier and she just says hey go find five tickets though she may o only ask you to find three tickets um, but it could be as many as eight um, as the guy with the red bandana he is looking for eight so he was the unlucky one now I'm gonna skip through some of this so you don't have to watch all the boring stuff Now, as you see up the top, it says you have gained one yellow pass, or something like that. Uh, that indicates that someone has collected their tickets and has turned them in. Now, uh, in the old days, they made you have to collect the tickets from other players. That no longer uh, is necessary. See, now number two has finished, and uh, it's lagging a lot. Jeez. And, uh, all right. Uh, as soon as that last person turns it in, uh, it automatically clears, and then you talk to Clodo, and the door will appear. Uh, some of these uh, stages you have to talk to Clodo, or else the door doesn't appear. Now for this stage, you talk to Clodo, and then three people have to get on separate ropes, and uh, basically you have to get the right combination of ropes. All right. Now you need to make sure you talk to Clodo to check if you have the right combination. Then you go to the next stage. Sometimes if you're too low on the rope it won't uh, indicate that they're on the rope so make sure that they are high enough on the rope. And then this one is identical to the last one but instead of ropes you're on platforms numbered with kitty cats. So uh, you can click Clodo and you basically keep miss and matching everyone until they clear it. Now, 
Uh, this one was changed a lot. Uh, it is completely different, and all you really have to do is kill all the monsters, which doesn't take too long, as you can see. So uh, we clear that. Now this one you have to talk to Clodo, or else the door will not appear, which gets really annoying. Uh, I didn't know that at first. And then this is the slime boss, and you basically just fight it until it dies. Also, I would like you to notice the amount of experience I get for uh, completing this PQ, for it is a lot more than it originally was. Um, once it dies, it will drop a green little slime token, which, if anyone picks it up, everyone collects one. So don't worry about rushing to grab it, everyone's gonna get one anyway. Uh, the slime boss also always drops its codex card. So, uh, that's about it. If you guys need more help with uh, tutorials and stuff, make sure to check out hiddenstreet.net. They are a database for MapleStory, and they have all sorts of stuff. And if you play in GMS, you'd hit Maple Global, and they got all sorts of tabs on the side that you click, and it just gives you so much information. Just about everything you need to know is on this site, so make sure to check them out if you're lost. And to make things easier for you guys, I'll include a link in the bottom right corner of this video, along with uh, links to my Facebook and Twitter if you want to add me there. And there's also a subscribe button, so please subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as possible.